Hello and welcome to Restyle. This week we've come all the way to East Croydon to meet our contestant, Sophia, who's absolutely desperate for a Restyle. Sophia is an exceptionally busy lady. As well as running a household, she manages to make time for a staggering three jobs. As well as working as an interpreter, she also practices as a medical translator. Fortunately, a lot of this work can be done from the comfort of her home. However, this is not all Sophia does. On completely the other end of the spectrum to her academic work, she holds a passion for the media industry and frequently works as a background artist and extra. As she is not young according to industry standards, she fears she may be typecast as an older character and believes the best way to try and avoid this is to not conform to the stereotypes whereby people perceive those that are slightly older as not being as fashion and image conscious. Through the power of an extensive restyle, Mimi and the rest of the team are hoping to transform Sophia into something that far from represents a supposedly older dress sense, but instead portrays Sophia as the youthful, vibrant woman that comes across in her personality. Hi Sophia. Hi Mimi. Welcome to our show. <laughs> oh, it's nice that you accepted me on the show. Thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to be transformed into glamorous. A lady. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I probably told you this before, I work at home, mainly at home. I work as a um, medical translator and also I'm doing some medical interpreting. Mm -hmm. And also I'm doing some um, work in film as a background artist. And, and um, I just would like to be a little bit transformed into the model, modern, more modern style because um, I got a feeling that I'm stuck in a <laughs> you know, sort of fears that were before. and. Mm. Um, Fashion wise and, and makeup wise, and even a haircut wise, probably <laughs> it's not the, the, the mo most modern one. And I'm, I'm just hoping that um, I can be transformed. Well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, we can. we've got a big team um, right. that's going to work very hard, so hopefully, they can transform you. But obviously, you've been you know really busy, you have three jobs, you do extra. So, um, how will this help you? I'm guessing not so much when you're translating at home. Mm. But obviously you're acting and you're doing extra work. So. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm just ho hoping to get more um, work, more jobs. Um, obviously the problem is that um, probably most people have this stereotype of a little bit older person being really old, you know, like not really taking care of mm. herself and not taking care of fashion. So yeah. I just um, don't, want, don't want to build up those stere stereotypes. I wanted to... Um, to show people that even if you are getting older, it doesn't mean that you have to forget about, you know, how you look Absolutely. like and about fashion and Absolutely. about your appearance. It's very important to keep up with I those agree. things. I agree, one hundred percent. I agree. What is um, what do you most like about yourself, and what do you most mm. dislike that you'd mm. ra really <coughs> like to change? Um, um, I probably like the the way sort of I'm quite tall, so um, and, and sort of keeping keeping weight, um, my weight in check, so yeah. I'm quite slim. Obviously there are some bits and pieces, you know, <laughs> but I think I, I'm still in sort of good shape. We can cover that up. <laughs> but I um, just wanted to change probably my hair, just okay. to have a different hairstyle and to do something maybe with um, my face also, like um, I have those lines on my Wrinkles, forehead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yes, if I can do something about them, not not something drastic, you know, I wouldn't, I would never have like face surgery, leave, but, yeah, but something like a Botox or injection, which are more gen gentle, gentle, yeah. yeah. So I would like to do something like this. Okay, well, we'll, s we'll see what we can do okay. for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited about this, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to how I will be transformed. You know how I will look like. <laughs> To begin the process of Sophia's restyle, we're taking her to meet with Dr. Mervyn Druin, who will be whitening her teeth. As well as giving her visibly whiter teeth, we're hoping to boost Sophia's confidence, providing her with reason to show off her new smile. I'm Mervyn Druin, Dr. Mervyn Druin from the London Centre of Cosmetic Dentistry. And uh, we're here to do a tooth whitening, dental bleaching procedure. And uh, we're looking forward to having a little bit of fun. We're going to explain to Sophia what we're going to do and hopefully she's walking in with darker teeth and she's going to walk out with whiter teeth with a lovely smile, giving her much more confidence. Yes. <laughs> so this is what we're about this morning. Okay, so Zafia, the first thing I'm going to do is just isolate your teeth and your gums from your lips. And um, I'm going to put some gel on your teeth, which got a little bit of peroxide in, so it can make the gums sensitive. So we'll isolate the gums as well. And 
you'll have the gel on for about three rounds of 10 minutes. And we'll take everything off and hopefully you'll see nicer, lighter teeth. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, Nina, is just take the color. So let me pop a pair of gloves on. And I'm going to check the shade of your teeth. Have you tried tooth whitening before? No. Okay. okay. Pop your head back a little bit. I'm going to just put your chair back a little bit. Is that okay? Yeah. Right. Let's have a look. Okay, yes, you've got a real mixture. So, she got like a veneer, a plastic veneer on the upper right too. And the upper left canine's got a huge filling in it. But it, most of her teeth are on the yellowish side. Let's have a look. They're actually darker than A3. Is the fierce teeth are round about a 3.5. So you're on the darker side of the scale, mm -hmm. and we're going to try and move you to the lighter side. Okay, that's where she is now. We're going to try and move her to the lighter side. It's difficult to say how much lighter they'll go, but I think we will get a nice improvement for you. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to just put your chair back a tiny bit more. That's lovely. Okay, so let's put this cheek retractor in. Open wide. That's lovely. Good. Just put another one in on this side. Okay, bite together. The fear closed together. And I want you to keep like that. Just keep closed for me all the time, okay? Um, there's a plastic piece. Just make sure that your tongue is behind it, okay? So it doesn't go in front where your teeth yeah, are. That's it, okay. just as you're doing. And you can swallow as well. You're fine to swallow. Great. Tuck that in there. Tuck this in here. Okay, I'm going to try and put this frame on. Okay, you just keep closed, okay? Fantastic. After Sophia's gums and cheeks have been securely isolated, Dr. Druid applies the bleaching solution to her teeth. A UV light is then shone onto the mixture to accelerate the whitening process. There we go. Good. Okay, just try and relax. And you've just got to lay there now for 10 minutes. Okay? To take the um, lamp off, and we're going to just clean off the gel, and then I'm going to put some fresh gel on. Okay, keep biting. You must keep closed. That's great. Let's have the suction. After the procedure is complete, the gel must be thoroughly cleaned off okay, with professional equipment to ensure nothing is left in Sophia's mouth that might cause her harm. Keep closed. Okay. Fantastic. The process can be repeated in another 10 minute session to achieve a greater whitening. take everything off. I know you can't wait. How are you feeling, Zafia? Uh, early in a way. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's get rid of this. That's great. Okay. Well, even here, if you have a look, you can see on camera the difference from where we started to where you are now. It's improved very nicely. You've gone up about six shades so she's gone up from a 3.5 to about d2 so that's a nice improvement okay you okay yes i'm fine you comfortable yes you haven't seen them yet not yet no. okay here's a mirror mm. Mm, they look great. Yes. can you see <laughs> can you see the difference yes mm. and even the 
Yes. False tooth is cleaned tall, up a little yes. bit. Yes, oh, the veneer. Mm. Yeah, and that's yeah, blended in very nicely. You can smile with confidence. Of you course. Can smile with confidence. Yeah. <laughs> of course. We want all our patients to. Mm, lovely. Are you happy yeah. with it? Yes. And it was very yeah. relaxing and comfortable. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> of course. Although I was very nervous. As you know. She was yes, very she nervous. Was. I know she yeah. was. <laughs> She's a very good patient. Yeah. <laughs> you look great now. Thank you. <laughs> For the next stage of Helen's restyle, we're taking her to meet Dr. Wong, a renowned dermatologist that is hopefully capable of improving the appearance of Helen's skin, making her look more youthful. Hello, how are you today? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Good, Yourself? Good. I'm Dr. Wong, um, I'm one of the aesthetics doctor in this practice, and um, how can I help you today? I would like to have something done to my lips to make them bigger. Okay, sure, yeah, we can definitely help with that. Um, so we'll be doing the Botox of three areas, which is between your eyebrows, forehead, and around the eyes, so they get rid of the wrinkles of the upper face. And then um, the filler that I use is um, made in Geneva, and it's got lidocaine in it, which is a uh, local anaesthetic, which wow. means it'll be more comfortable for you. Um, we'll also be putting on some numbing cream on your face first. Okay. They'll take about 30 to 40 minutes to work. All right. All right. Do you have any other questions? So how long it will take for my face to sort of settle down? And okay. Um, the redness and swelling should go down about two, three hours or so. Um, most people, they recover within an hour, but mm -hmm. two, three hours is the max. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I just wanted to ask you because I don't want to have this kind of plasticky, horrible look, you know, mm -hmm. like, so would it be very, nat would it yeah. look very natural? So what we do today is very subtle, very natural. Um, we're going for the more natural, relaxed look rather than the frozen face look. Okay, and uh, can I book a make makeup on afterwards or? Yeah, sure. Um, the way we put the face, so where we put the injection, um, it'll be slightly red and can put makeup on immediately. All right, yeah. great. Okay. okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, so this is Liliana, my Hi. colleague, and she's going to be putting some numbing cream on okay. for you. All right. Okay. Just gonna give you a little bit of face. You have some. Uh, no, I didn't book any today. makeup today. Before Dr. Wong can begin administering the Botox, all the areas of Sophia's face that will be injected must be covered with numbing cream in order to make the procedure less painful. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe off the numbing cream. Dr. Wong then draws markers onto Sophia's skin in white pencil to ensure the highest level of accuracy possible when administering the Botox. Dr. Wong then begins by starting with her forehead and following the guide he has just created for himself. Okay. Dr. Wong then moves on to the next problem area that Helen has identified, which are the lines that exist around her mouth and under her nose. The mixture must be firmly massaged through the areas being tackled to ensure an even distribution of the Botox. After all the injections have been completed, Sophia can begin to see the final result, though her face will still be a little swollen. After she has had time to let the redness fade, we're going to take her to meet with our hairdresser to get Sophia well on her way to completing her restyle. The hairdresser decides to give Sophia some blonde highlights to add texture and the illusion of an even greater volume to her hair. The new shade should also complement Helen's fair skin tone and bring out the best in her overall complexion. Starting with the back of Sophia's head, her hair is divided into sections and wrapped up in foils in order to highlight only specific strands of her hair. This method is repeated over the whole of her head in order to create a texture and add another subtle dimension to Sophia's look. The foils are then removed over a sink, revealing the result of the lightening process. Already you can begin to see the transformation that's occurring. Sophia's hair is thoroughly washed and towel dried to remove excess moisture, but is left damp so it can be cut accurately. Sophia's hair is then once again divided into sections and the bottom is brushed through. Her hair is then cut into long choppy layers to give it a more modern look. The top layers are then once again secured with clips to expose the underside of Sophia's hair to be blow dried. Mm. 
A large round brush is used to style her hair and add extra volume. The top layers are then dried in the same way, curling under the ends to provide a clean, sophisticated finish to the style. Her fringe is then dried and the finishing touches are made by giving her hair one last blast with the dryer. With Sophia's hair fully restyled, we can move on to the last stages of her makeover and give her some advice as to which makeup she should be using to complement her features. So basically, before we start, before we put the foundation, I'll go for this. It's basically, it's like moisturizer. Yeah, especially if your skin is quite do, um, uh, dry. Mm -hmm. So this is it's the best. So it's like just, a foundation or it's, it's no, it's, it's like not. a it's like a moisturizer, it's like a cream. Oh, okay. Yeah, just you add just a little, literally, and put it all over your face, uh -huh, okay. neck as well. It's very very nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Even the texture, it doesn't have color at all. Mm -hmm. Just it's like a base before the foundation. So that can, um makes skin like softer. Or softer, something. exactly. And basically, especially if sometimes you don't need it if your skin is nice and soft, but you have to check your skin. And mm -hmm. um, I found your skin slightly dry. Mm -hmm. That's why I went to use it. It's just a touch, it's like you're moisturizing normal skin. There we go. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna go for something suits you. It's because if I go like turn to pink, it's gonna be too much because your skin is turned to pink. So I'll go something opposite. Okay. This color, if you see, it's mm -hmm. nice and in the middle. <coughs> Basically, you separate this all over your face, neck as well, here. Then with the brush, separate like that. We need <coughs> this brush. It's really good, especially for foundation. Mm -hmm. So you don't apply it with fingers, you apply with the brush. We will, we will. First of all with, with finger, oh, I mean with the brush. And then basically you will need your fingers as a, like the last touch. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. After we finish with the brush, you go all over the neck and mm -hmm. blend it with the face. Make sure it's all over face even round the eyes with fingers mm -hmm. go blend it like that okay. and you have to check your face if there is a patchy places mm -hmm. just blend it like that nice and soft gently and that's it the makeup artist ensures the foundation is applied evenly over Sophia's face by using both a brush and her hands to smooth the color over her skin Basically, we finished the foundation now. So, we go for concealer. The concealer I'm gonna use, it's, it should be a shade or two shades lighter, especially if you have a spot to cover it, just one shade lighter, but under the eye, go two shades lighter. For example, I've got something like that. I'll go this one, because this one's quite light for you. Okay. This one, under the eye, And if you have spots, we can cover it as well. And with fingers, just a touch as well. That's it. If you have a look and see the difference, it's a touch like this. Okay. That's it. Purple with pink because it's nice and suits your color. Before I use the purple and pink, um, I'll go for something nice and shiny under the eye, which is, this is the first thing we start. We use something light. Mm -hmm. 
either this color or this color just to touch a tiny bit under the eyebrows it's nice and gives the area a big um, uh, big, big big space okay and I'm gonna use nice pink color so basically I started with light color around this area and <coughs> so I'm gonna finish it with the ends with nice purple dark at the edges here around this area Eyeshadow is then applied in sections, whereby the outer lids are coated in a darker shade than Zafia's inner lids. Her upper lashes are then lined meticulously with a liquid eyeliner, focusing on the outer edges to give a widening appearance. Finally, a deep pink gloss is applied to Sophia's newly emphasised lips to complete the look. With her makeup sealed in place, we are ready to move on to the final stages of the restyle by revamping Sophia's wardrobe. So Sophia, we are here at the final stages of restyle, finally. So we've had your hair done, dermatology, teeth, mm. everything. All that's left is to have you restyled fully mm. in new outfit. Well, um, thank you very much, Mimi, for organizing all of these oh, nice things. <laughs> I just now, I just need your help. I would like to have a nice dresses. One would be like a nice corporate kind of business, business dress, dress. Yeah. Um, maybe sort of quiet colors, and the other one, evening dress with a little bit bright colors, because I tend to go for, as you can see, natural Dark, colors, like, yeah. <laughs> sort of dark and you know boring. So I would Aww. like to have something cheerful and something nice. We yeah. will. I will absolutely do my best. Go to okay. my wardrobe. Pick you out something bright, cheerful for the evening and corporate business, fantastic. Great. Ready for work? Okay. Ready for I'm relying this? on you. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> pressure, pressure. Are you ready to be restyled? Yes. Let's I'm go. looking forward to it. Okay, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> so, for Sophia, it's really, really easy. All she wants is something bright and glamorous for the evening. So, I've gone for this look. Just to compliment her shape, she's quite a tall lady. So I've gone for just under the kneecap and pleats all the way here, tight here because she's got tiny, tiny waist and bright colours just as requested. And of course, because it's got so much pattern and everything going on, very simple white necklace, very bold statement jewellery like this and nothing else. You don't need anything else. And for a corporate look, I've gone for something slightly less bright. <laughs> just so she can wear it in the office without having people to wear sunglasses. So something like this, again, to complement her body shape. She's very tall, so this would look beautiful on her. Pleats over here, just to take her eye away from how tall she is and give her a little bit of structure. And minimalistic, uh, minimalistic jewelry. There we go. Shall we see how it looks on Sophia? Sophia, are you ready? Yes. Come out, my darling. Wow, you look amazing. You look absolutely fantastic. A million dollars. On, this, on, this heel on those heels, well, you're going to have to get <laughs> used to it. it. Yes. You love it? Oh, you look Still great. Sadly. You look fantastic. Really feminine. <laughs> feminine, yeah. yeah? Well, I'm going to show you what you look like, okay? All right. You want to see? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Wow, this looks amazing. Very Are you nice. happy? Yes, great. Very feminine, okay. glamorous, bold, Lovely. bright colors, yeah? This is your new look, okay? You have now been fully restyled. For Zafia's final look, we dressed her in a flattering plum-coloured dress that sits just above the knee. The length both shows off her legs but also allows the ensemble to remain formal, which keeps the look versatile. The dress cinches in at the waist as it is gathered at one side. This draws attention away from the length of her torso and instead creates the illusion of curves, giving her slender body extra va va -voom. A chunky beaded necklace finishes off her look by drawing attention to Zafia's elegant neck. Zafia's makeover has not only boosted her outward appearance, but it has lifted her from the inside, enhancing her confidence tremendously. From internal to external, Zafia has been fashioned into a whole new woman, making her well and truly the product 
of a restart.